Okay, this week we're recreating the recipe asparagus with onion puree and beef sauce from Sarah Todd. Now I have a bit of a confession to make. I haven't actually watched this episode yet. I was actually gonna recreate another recipe, but due to not being able to find the correct ingredients, I'm, gonna, I'm recreating this one. In this recipe, I found another amazing ingredient. Now this is preserved bean curd in chili oil. And this tastes absolutely amazing. It has the consistency of cream cheese with a nice little hum of oil. And the oil out of this is used to pickle some onions. Okay, to start off, we're gonna pickle the onions. Now I've transferred all the juice from the jar of bean curd into my saucepan here and brought it to a boil. Now I've thinly sliced half an onion. Just gonna add that. Make sure it's all in the juices there, all submerged. Now I didn't use nearly as much as it states in the recipe, but you just gotta make sure all the onions have submerged in that. Now I'm just gonna put the lid on that, remove it from the heat, and let it sit till I'm ready to use it. Okay, the next step is to make the beef and onion gravy. Now in the recipe, you just need a beef bone with a lot of meat on it. Now it says like a ribeye in the recipe, but I went to the shop, I don't really wanna destroy a whole ribeye with a bone in to make this gravy. So, I got a piece of the leg bone with a big chunk of meat on it. That's all meat and I got a bone on the back. So I'm just gonna put this in the pan, along with the onion. I'm gonna cook this off over a medium heat until it's all nicely browned all over and you get some little, and you get a bit of fond sticking to the bottom. And then we'll come back. Once you've got everything nicely browned off and crispy on your meat, just like that. And the onions have got some nice color on them. And you got some nice little crispy bits on the bottom. You wanna get your red wine vinegar? Just pour it in and deglaze the pan. And get your spatula. Just scrape up all those little bits off the bottom. All those little bits, just gonna to add to the flavor of this gravy. Okay, once you've got it all scraped up, you're just gonna cover this with water. Now my bone's a little bit bigger than uh, what was in the recipe, so I'm just gonna add about that much water, maybe a little bit more. And now we'll let this simmer to reduce, and then we'll come back and, uh, and strain it. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil, then we'll reduce the heat to a simmer, and then we'll strain it once, it's, uh, once we've got it reduced there. It should take around 30 minutes. For the onion cream, we need to caramelize some onions. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of neutral oil in the pan, and then I'm gonna add my finely sliced onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Once you've got your onions all mixed in and coated in the oil. Now I like to just put a lid on it, keep it on a medium heat, and as you'll see, the water will come out of the onions and it'll actually start to stew on its own juices. Now you wanna stir it, and just ch keep checking on every now and again. And if you need to, just add a little bit of extra water and mix them in and keep deglazing the pan. And these will get a nice caramelization on them. I'll bring you back once I, uh, once I get to the stage where I need to add a little bit of water. Okay, as you can see here, starting to get a little, nice little bit of color on the onions. Just wanna give them a little mix around, just like that. And you also wanna add just a little bit of water at this stage. Not too much, just a little bit. And then make sure you pick up anything that's sticking to the bottom of the pan. And just put the lid back on, and now just keep cooking it on a medium heat. You wanna keep doing that about every five minutes from here on out until you, the onions are nicely caramelized. So just keep coming back and checking it, mixing it around, making sure nothing's sticking. If it is, add a little bit of water, deglaze, and yeah, just keep doing that until they're nicely caramelized. We'll come back when these are, when these are finished. As you can see here, got my onions nicely caramelized. Now I'm just gonna transfer them into this blender, and then we'll blend it into a nice, smooth, Cream. Okay, as you can see, got it all transferred. Now I'm just gonna place the lid on. I'm gonna blend this on high speed until it goes into a nice smooth cream. Don't forget to scrape down the sides, at least once. Okay, once you get into a nice smooth cream, you just wanna taste it for seasoning. That is so silky smooth and delicious. I'm gonna put just a touch more salt in, not too much, and then I'll mix that in, and then it'll be good to go. All right, once you've got the seasoning how you like it, we're just gonna put it into another container, and we'll set it aside. Add my gravy bubbling away in here. Just gonna remove that big bone into another container there. Now it says to strain this through a super cloth, I think it said in the recipe, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just gonna use this fine mesh strainer, and we're just gonna pass it through that. Uh, once you've got it all tipped out, just give your onions a little move around to make sure the juice comes out. Give them a little press. You want all that oniony, tasty goodness to come out. Okay, now you're gonna return this pot to the stove and we're gonna reduce this till it's nice and thick. I've had my gravy simmering away here, and as you can see, the bubbles are starting to get a little bit bigger, which means this is thickened up. 
Okay, so I'm gonna taste it for seasoning. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Now, I don't like to season this before because as you're reducing it, if you season it perfectly before you start reducing, it's gonna be overly seasoned by the time you get to this stage. So I'm just gonna add a little bit, then we're gonna stir that in, and then we'll, uh, we'll taste again, and we'll adjust as needed. For the asparagus, I've just got them in a baking tray here. You could put them in a bowl or a bigger saucepan, but all you wanna do is just pour, I've got some boiling water here. I've just boiled in the kettle. I'm just gonna pour it all in, make sure they're all covered. And we're just gonna let these sit for about a minute just to blanch them off. After about a minute, the asparagus should be, have turned a the color. They should be a lot brighter in color, as you see. So we'll just move them to the side. We'll bring in our pan that we've just got some paper towel and we're gonna remove the asparagus from the water and just put them on the paper towel to drain. You wanna drain these off really well because the next step we'll be uh, putting them into a pan with a little bit of oil. And if you leave any water on them, they're gonna, it's gonna splatter everywhere. Yeah, we just wanna pat these dry just to remove as much water as we can off them. Okay, for the crispy onions, I've just got a pot here with a little bit of neutral oil in it. Now I'm just gonna bring it up to around 170 degrees and I've already thinly sliced my onions. So once the temperature's up to around 170, we'll, uh, we'll put the onions in. Okay, my oil's around 170 degrees. Now I've transferred my onions onto the slotted spoon and I'm just gonna slowly lower these in. And I like to do it like this, so in case the, it bubbles over, I can just take out the onions and it'll avoid any uh, unnecessary spillage. So we'll slowly put this in. All right, once you think it's not gonna bubble over, we'll just slowly put them in and slowly shake them off. Just a little bit at a time. Okay, now this won't take long. It's only gonna take about a minute or so until they're nicely golden brown. You just wanna move it around a little bit, make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom or burning. Okay, once you've got a nice golden brown to it, you wanna transfer them to a paper towel lined plate. Now, you wanna pull them just before they get too dark because they will darken up a little bit as they cool. And as soon as you transfer them to the plate, you wanna hit them with a little bit of salt and then you just set them aside till we're ready to plate. So I've got a saucepan heating up here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil that we just fried the onions in to the pan. Okay, then I'm gonna add a little bit of the bean curd. Mix that around a little bit and we'll break it up some. Now we're gonna add the asparagus and we're just gonna pan sear this off and get a little bit of char on the asparagus. Should only take about one minute. Okay, as you can see, starting to just get a little bit of charring on the asparagus. That's all we wanna do. So we wanna remove them from the pan, put them on a plate, and we're ready to serve. Now, considering I haven't actually watched this episode, I'm not sure how the gravy plays into it, but we'll give it a go. Mm-hmm. Okay, after trying this out, this here tastes absolutely amazing. My advice is, when you make these crispy onions, make more because you're gonna snack on them and they're all gonna be gone and that'll make it to the dish. Also, this onion cream here, that is amazing. I could just imagine making some sliced pull, uh, roast beef and putting that on a sandwich, that's gonna be killer. Now, I'm definitely gonna have to watch the episode because I'm not 100% sure how the gravy ties in with the rest of the dish, but this here, that's where the money's at.